Good evening. So I got an early preview of the newest version of the world's most popular AI presentation app. And so in this video, we'll be taking a look inside version 3.0 of Gamma. And I'm going to focus not just on general features, but on the specific features and use cases for business owners and professionals. And so this applies to you whether you're a student with your first internship coming up or you run a Fortune 500 company. And my goal for you after watching the next few minutes of this video is to walk away with at least one material workflow or feature that could measurably and will measurably save you time or money personally or in your business. Now, somewhere in this video, I've hidden an email address. And the first five people to find and email this address will either all receive $50 or they can elect for a lottery in which one of the five walks away with $500. It's a way for me to say thank you for people who watch all the way through these videos and also a little fun social and economic game. So make sure to keep watching if you do want to win up to $500 in cash. So you may remember Gamma from this video I did a few months ago. And if not, no worries, we're going to do a refresher before we dive into the platform specifics. So Gamma is a free to use AI design partner for creating presentations, websites, social media posts, and a whole lot more, as we'll see, using some combination of over 20 of the leading AI base models. And they have over 50 million users that generate 700,000 pieces of content per day. That makes them, like I said, the most popular AI presentation app in the world, if not one of the most popular services in the world, full stop. So if you're still using PowerPoint and Photoshop and doing most or all of your design work by hand, then you'll find all of this especially useful because Gamma represents something that we talk a lot about on this channel and look at a lot. That is the next generation of tooling for creatives, business owners, students, professionals, and you and me all built with AI. And that said, now we're going to dive into specifics. And like I said before, Gamma is entirely free to use. So if you do want to follow along with what I'm doing or just log in and generally get a feel for the platform, you can just head to their website at gamma.app, this link on the screen, or head to the link in the description to sign up again entirely for free. Okay, so we're gonna jump into a demo account of mine. We're looking over five primary use cases. And the first I think is one of the most useful. And I'm going to focus in on a sales use case and automation specifically, but you'll see this does apply to you across a whole host of business applications. So what you can see right now, this is the Gamma home screen. This is a demo account of mine. You can see a little presentation we created from the last video about Gamma. And if you work in sales, you know, obviously there's a lot of content you have to make. There are demos and pitch decks, RFQs, RFPs. There's all kinds of content that you have to customize for a specific client or lead or prospect while you're selling them. And that, right, programmatically customizing content is a super easy thing, very low hanging fruit for you to automate with AI. Now we're just going to start simple with creating a sales deck and then I'll show you the tool that I wanna focus on for this use case number one. So the party's just getting started, but hang with me and let's create this sales deck. So I clicked create with AI and now what I can do is paste in text. So I'm gonna create a presentation. You could do a document, web page, social media post as well. And then here I'm just going to paste in the content that I wanna be included in a sample sales deck. Okay, so I'm gonna paste these call notes in here. This would be like notes from a sales meeting. You can see the call meta, the snapshot, the trigger event, the pain points, and a whole lot of other information about what went on in the meeting. And again, you'll see how this connects to automation in just a second, but for now, I just wanna show you kind of the base function of Gamma as a content creator. So then what I'm going to say is I wanna generate from notes or an outline, so this content is is notes or an outline and I want to beautify that and turn it into a presentation Then I'll click continue and you can see it filled most of this out to me for the theme which I can select I think I'll stick with be happy I like the look of that one I can select from the image art style as well I'll keep that on photo realistic and I'm going to leave this as free form as opposed to card by card which means the AI is going to choose how to divide the content over the course of the presentation and then I'm going to leave that as 10 and I will click generate now it's been about three seconds literally that was not sped up and you can see that the slideshow now is being written here with all the notes. And obviously in sales, there are some rules that you kind of have to follow or things you can't get wrong on sales decks. So in that case, you would just tell the AI those rules and the error rate on that is going to be 
extremely low. Okay, and it's done. So we can see Brightland, I think that was the name of the, the sample client, Brightland Discovery, marketing analytics being the service, goes over the challenge, how speed is everything, organizational context, pain points, solution scope, success metrics, and this is all pulled from the notes. But here's the thing, if you work in sales, you know that taking notes that are that detailed is really hard. So what if we used AI for that? as well. And so the actual workflow I want to introduce for use case number one is using the Gamma API, hooking it up with Zap and then connecting it to a meeting note taker or recorder. So I already set up a sample workflow right here. If you haven't used Zapier or N8N or make.com, go check them out. They'll change your life. But otherwise, I'm just going to assume that you are familiar with one or multiple of these platforms. So in this case, the trigger is fireflies.ai. They're a very popular meeting recorder. So that's an AI that just sits in your Zoom call, your Google Meet, and records all the notes and then summarizes it in a useful kind of document or information, or it can just keep the raw transcript. So the trigger here is a meeting has happened and being recorded in Fireplace.ai. Now, when that happens automatically, what's going to happen is that data is going to be ported over here to Gamma. So we can see right here, I have my account connected and then I've matched the fields. So the input text to the Gamma AI is going to be some of the information from the meeting that was also recorded by AI. And I'll leave this as generate and then a presentation, same settings as if you did it manually. And then what this workflow can do essentially is every time you have a meeting, it can automatically and programmatically go and create all the resources that you need and include predefined rules that you may need to set just quality control wise. So if I went and I published this and turned it on, then every time I have a sales meeting, I can just come into Gamma right here. And what I'll see is a sales deck or a presentation or a document of any sort that was created specifically to the needs and to the conversation that I had with the lead or prospect or current customer. And again, I wanted to focus focus on sales for this application. But if you think about the potential there, right, there's a lot you can do outside of sales with that workflow of pulling in some kind of trigger source and then being able to programmatically, automatically use AI to create presentations and content. For example, if you're a student, what you could do is record your online class. If you say have an online class, run that into a presentation that summarizes the most useful information, and there you go. Okay, that said, use case number two focuses on a more general professional corporate setting where you also need content, you need a presentation of some sort, but typically more along the lines of an internal report or a pitch deck where you're pitching a project or an idea to your team or your boss. And the tool I wanna to focus on is the agent within Gamma. And to see that, let's jump back in and create a hypothetical pitch deck for our company. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to click create new with AI. I'm going to paste in the sample pitch deck. So this is pitching a new kind of business or problem, say to your, to your boss to get funding for it. And I want to generate from notes or an outline. I'll continue to the prompt editor. And again, this prompt editor is where you can add more information. Then I'll click generate. Okay, here's what the sales deck looks like. We have Bright Path AI. It's a smarter supply chain company. We have the problem right here with some stats. We have some information about the company, platform capabilities, the markets, opportunity, the SaaS revenue model, early traction, competitive differentiation, go-to-market strategy, investment opportunity, et cetera. And this is all based exactly on the information that I plugged into it. So again, the tool I wanna to focus on is the agent. And this is, okay, you have the content already. You have the presentation in, in Gamma or, or elsewhere. Well, how are we going to improve it and make changes to it? And this is essentially this agent feature is a improved way of doing that. So I'm gonna click agent in the top right here. And then I'm just going to tell the agent what I want to do with my content or what changes I want to make. So you can make UI UX changes. If you have additional information that you want to add, right? Or let's say a stat that you want to include, just paste the statistic in the agent. The agent will include it in the slideshow. What I want to focus on is more visual. So I'm going to say, I want a black background and white text, change the whole color theme around and make it look aesthetic. I'm going to click enter there and let's see what the agent does. So there you go. That also took three seconds, super fast. And you can see that all the text has been changed. 
uh, to white and the backgrounds have been changed to black. And if there are any other changes that you wanna make to your slideshow, you also just go up to agents and you just, again, tell your agent what you want. And it's not just slideshows, it's social media content as well and documents of any sort. And on that note, for the third use case here, I want to show you some social media content generation. So let's say we want a carousel post that introduces our company for Instagram. And then the specific tool that I want to show you is the smart diagram feature. So again, I'm going to click create with AI, and then I'm going to paste in text. And this is the same exact text that I just pasted in. So introducing the new company. So same idea here, but instead of a presentation that we want, what we want is social content. So right here under what would you like to create, I'm gonna click on social and I'll go for square. So this is a fit for Instagram specifically. Then I'll click continue to editor. Now I'm going to change the amount of text to concise because I want a little bit less for Instagram. For visuals, I want a white background. So we'll stick to here and then I think we're good other than that let's just click generate and one thing I want to note as well while this is loading is that you can customize all of this yourself so you could just manually create slides here and just like use the agent as kind of an add-on productivity enhancer for example you don't have to generate everything with AI if you don't want to that said here's the carousel that was created for us you can see everything is in the square format and then we can scroll through here and see all the different stats and information. Okay, now there's the specific tool I mentioned, which is text visualization. So for example, let's say this post right now is all text and I want to just see it more intuitively. I, I want a, a stronger style for it. I'm gonna select all this text and you can see right here, visualize this text. All I'm gonna do is press that and the AI is going to create a visualization based intelligently on that text. So you can see right here, this design was created. I'll zoom in on that. And you can see that the actual text was taken and just put here in a, in a way that stylistically looks better. And I, I personally at least prefer that a lot more. So that's visualization. And then there's also the smart diagram feature that I mentioned. So let's go down to right here to the competitive edge uh, post, for example. What I can do is I can select smart diagram and then let's go with ideas, I think. Where are ideas? Right here. So I'm gonna click on ideas. It's going to insert this into here. And so now I have this kind of template where I can put the text in right here. And then if I wanna change the format of that information to a different diagram, I just go under ideas and I can change it. It's gonna transform the content that I have into a different format. So you can very easily take this content that you've inserted and then you can rinse and repeat it to see how it would look across a lot of different kinds of data visualization. Now for use case number four, I wanna focus on longer form content. So things like generating different modules for an online course, right? A lot of people create a lot of courses or maybe you just want more detailed content of some sorts or more detailed notes for yourself. And I wanna to return to the API as the central feature or tool here because you can really do a lot with something like Zapier. So for example, this use case that I came up with is to identify a new video whenever it's posted on a certain channel on YouTube. So that could be your own channel, for example, and then it's gonna feed that through into ChatGPT and then you can get ChatGPT to analyze or do something with that text, whatever you want and then ChatGPT will feed that text into Gamma. So for example, let's say I as a content creator wanted to generate reports about my videos, so to summarize that content and email it out to my newsletter subscribers. Well, with this workflow, every time I post a YouTube video, ChatGPT can go and summarize that into the most useful information. I can send that to Gamma. Gamma is going to create the actual content, so the presentation or the document or the social media content from it. And then what I could do is add just another app right here and I could connect to, let's say, MailChimp, for example. And then MailChimp could automatically send that out to my whole list of subscribers. So there's really so much that you can do here across the board with that API feature. And if you're not on Zapier, I highly recommend go and check them out. Okay, now for the final use case here, I wanna focus on translation and the tool of being able to translate content very easily. And that's something that you'll probably run into pretty often if you need to create content for any kind of business that's pretty big. 
So what I'm going to do in this case, let's say I already have some kind of content. So I'm gonna go pageless, and then I'm gonna create that new blank pageless content. And let's say that what I already have is a lead magnet for my business. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna paste this sample lead magnet. So it's 10 proven ways to lower customer acquisition costs in 2025. And then it has a CAC re reduction checklist with 10 different ways that I can reduce my cost to acquire a customer. Well, what I'm gonna do is click the agent here again, and then just say, hey agent, translate all of my content for me into all these other languages. And now while this is loading, again, you can see right here, the kind of Google Docs like or, or Word, the, the page list format. So again, it's not just presentations or just social media, it's also documents just like this. Okay, so what it's going to do is create a card for each language or kind of like a different document in a sense, which is exactly what I'm looking for. And it's gonna go ahead and create those cards. Okay, so this is pretty fun. We can see right here that we have the English version at the top. And now if we scroll down, we have the same thing in Spanish. So that's Spanish. If we scroll down more, this Portuguese, I don't know, so someone in the comments tell me what language uh, this is. And then if we scroll down again, I think that looks like German. And it's also improving the style for us. It took those 10, the CAC reduction checklist and made it look better on the page. And if we scroll down, it just keeps going. And it looks like we have Japanese. If that is Mandarin or something too, I'm so sorry. So if you want your content translated, you just ask the agent to do it and it can go ahead and get that done for you. Now that said, y'all, we've looked through five different use cases now. And again, my goal for you throughout this video was to walk away with at least one material workflow or feature that you will implement in your life or your business. So I wanna give you a moment right now, just pause this video or just keep it playing and think about it. Think about one specific takeaway that you can actually implement tomorrow from everything that we looked at today. And if you didn't at the start of this video, you can go try Gamma for free. That's just gamma.app or the link in the description. It's no credit card, no money required to sign up. So if you've never used a platform like this before, just give it a go, see how it feels. And one of you might've just won $500 after watching this video. And I do wanna make giveaways more of a regular part of the channel moving forward. That said, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.